Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use Google Earth Pro and Photoshop to create this incredible concept master plan. I've created this for my urban design project and was really inspired by OU graphics video and wanted to see if I can recreate it myself and whether it will look as amazing in a dense urban area with no rivers and just narrow canals. I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button share and subscribe so i can create more videos like this one and maybe another more detailed master plan there are some great techniques in this video so let's get started First thing is you need to install Google Earth Pro to export high resolution images from there. Once you're in Google Earth Pro, there's one option you've got to check on the settings to make your life kind of easier. So go to the tool options and then under navigation, check this option right here. Do not automatically tilt while zooming. This will ensure you get the best orthogonal view possible when zooming in and out of places. Now all you've got to do is to choose the location for your project and I'm going to use a Smethic, which is the location for my urban project. And uncheck most of the option in the layers, just leave the 3D building active. And once you have your frame ready, go to file, save, save image and deactivate all of the map options and set the resolution to the highest possible. Hit save image and save it to your folder. Now the maximum quality is pretty heavy so it might just take a few minutes to export. So the first thing to do after you import your high resolution image from Google Earth into Photoshop is to crop the image and add the roads and streets. So I'm going to use Digimap for that. I'm going to search up Smethic and choose the vector based map. and then hide all of the layers from the side except the road. You can either get this as a CAD and then import it as PDF and then add it to your Photoshop, which will ensure the quality, or maybe even use Illustrator to draw the roads, or you can even just paint the major ones in Photoshop, whatever suits you both. I'm going to print it to scale close enough to mine and then import it to Photoshop and try to align it as best as I can. Once you align it, we're going to add white color overlay. I'm also going to add a layer mask and then hide the names of the roads using a black brush. Then I'm going to convert it to a smart object and then add a smart sharpen just to get that resolution back. You can skip this step if you already painted them on Photoshop or if you used CAD and just imported it from there. Duplicate the base map and then let's take these vegetation areas and separate it onto its own layer. So we're going to zoom into a simple area here and we're going to use the magic wand tool and with the color range just to select the green areas of this whole image. So right click and go to color range on this window and then select the color picker that has the plus sign next to it. And we need to sample the various types of green that we've got on this image. So pick some of the grass, some of the trees and then after that you can tweak the fuzziness to increase how much selection do you want. Don't increase the fuzziness too much, keep it kind of low to make the areas more precise. As you can see we've got ourselves a pretty nice selection and all we gotta do now is to create a new mask on this base layer and let's rename it to vegetation. <laughs> We can then create a hue and saturation adjustment layer on top of the base layer to make the vegetation slightly greener and with a bit more contrast. We're going back to Digimap and then doing the same thing again this time, hiding everything except the natural features to get the canals. 
again you can just paint the canals or river whatever you have or just use AutoCAD or Illustrator. After you align the canals, add a blue color overlay and then add a stroke and inner shadow to create some depth to the Let's say you wanted to add an emphasis to some city blocks and here I wanted to add emphasis to my site so using the polygonal lasso tool select your site or your city block and then use a nice red color overlay. I'm also gonna add a diagonal pattern to kind of look like hatching and make sure to set the blend mode to multiply so we have no white background on this pattern. Change the scale and opacity to your liking. And ignore these blue blocks, they tend to change as I'm kind of figuring out what I'm trying to say with this diagram. I've changed it to a few blocks that represent the site and the train station because I want to talk about the site, its location, context, and its connections. I'm also going to remove a few areas. Let's pick these ones right next to the red color ones. And then once you're finished, go to the white layer and fill it with black to hide. And let's also increase the white layer opacity to increase the contrast between those areas. I've then changed the color of the canal and made the stroke thicker with a brighter color to give it more contrast and to bring it more to life. Because I have such thin canals, it's not really the ideal site, but it never really is, is it? Let's hide a few roads and leave a few major ones and a few minor ones. I'm also going to hide a little bit of the vegetation that aren't that important because since it's a dense area and I have no river to break it up, I think it needs to be a little less detailed to make it look a little less dense, if that makes sense. Ooh, that rhymed. For a final touch, Control shift alt and e all together to create a copy of everything on top and then convert it into a smart object. And let's apply a camera raw filter. And feel free to test out all of the options and change it to your liking. I always like my images to be high contrast, high contrast, high contrast. You can also add more detail by adding circles with walking times and the location of nodes. You can take this however you want from here, but for me, uh, like I said, I've just used it to introduce the site and its context because I did actually have another diagram which was to talk about its opportunities and constraints in my presentation. 
And that is all for today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it and you thought it was helpful in any way. And please smash that like button and leave me a comment because there are so many people out there who needs a motivational architectural body. So do share your progress with your studies or your visualization or anything really. I'm Nash and I will see you next time. Bye.